though. Some of my sets with Michael lasted seven of my games. One of them lasted like seven minutes or 6.20, I think. So Michael just can do that to you. Yeah, I just don't have that in me. So Michael is <laughs> definitely willing to just jump around, land on the top platform and stuff. So Quinn sure. told me, though, that he was not going to play Falco, and he's been you know, theory crafting this matchup and watching videos and stuff. So we'll see if he has anything to bring. But I will expect a long set. Yeah. So we can get to know each other. I'm a little bit surprised they went to Battlefield game one. Um, yeah, especially considering Michael's propensity to camp, I would think this would be good for Michael. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, because Ice Climbers can't really reach the top platform. Exactly, and that's and Michael is all definitely okay with abusing that. So Yeah, that's um, this would have been one of my first bans against the Puff. Yeah, I would have been pretty much Dreamland and Battlefield but if I was against Puff as an Icy artist. Yeah, Dreamland isn't bad, but it's not, I'd probably be, would be my second choice after this one to ban. Yeah, uh, it's the second highest top platform, and Michael just won't die if you don't get wobbles. So. Yeah. And yeah, he's definitely again willing to camp. Michael doesn't mess up like his deck skill. He doesn't mess up those drill up smashes or drill grabs. It's, he's got it, dude. Yeah, he's. He's. he's, he's, he's uh, you said you're Purdue also? Uh, uh, yeah, I graduated like a year and a half ago. Okay, so. That's where I started playing. You went to school with Michael also? Uh, I never went to school. Well, I went, never went to school while he was playing Melee. You graduated? Okay, okay. Wait, how long he, has he been playing Melee? Like a year. That oh I've known of. Oh my god. I had no idea who he was a year and a half but ago. But was he just labbing only net play then? I don't know. That? I honestly thought he was a freshman last year. Damn, okay. Yeah, I heard he graduated. So. Yeah, me too. I had no idea. I'd never heard of him until last until I'd already graduated. Yeah. Um, super cool that you guys came to the, our, show, our tournament. Um, uh, yeah. This is honestly, I, I'm pretty mad at the Purdue scene for never traveling. Yeah, Purdue's pretty close. I went to a Botme. <laughs> I, I mean, we could just talk about all this stuff because Michael's just sort of happy. Yeah. But I went to a Botme, it's only like 90 minutes away. It's, it's easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I like. I'll get to the pound. So yeah. Um, anyway, so Michael took the first stock and then kind of just like was circle camping the whole time on the platforms. Our streamer walked away. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know. Yeah. I mean, he knows he's not going to have to. Update things for a while. Um, I don't know if there'll be a timeout. Uh, maybe actually, we'll see. Seems like Quinn will probably just go in harder. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I think Quindolin. His tech is Quindolin there, but I believe he switched his tech to Quinn. I'm not sure. I personally think Quindolin's a much better tag than Quinn. But is that like his name or just a? His name is Quinn Dellinger. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's actually coming. To, uh, he's uh, going to be a freshman next year at UIC. So. Nice. That's well, he fun. looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, 15 in Chicago PR, but he'll be higher on the next one. These are actually kind of like two of the up and comers um, of Chicago. Yeah, Michael's got ham bones. Yeah. Come on, he'll just jumping in back. Air. I don't know. Okay, so what do you think Icy's really can do in this situation? Just call out the jump with those up air that Quinn's trying. Yeah. I mean, or Mike? just camp. Well, uh, you're down two stocks at this point. Ice yeah, test can't. the icy. Uh, I guess you already know Michael. Yeah, uh, I mean they've already will be patient enough. They've already played games where no stocks are taken, so especially specifically in this matchup, Quinn knows that Michael's willing to time out. So yeah. I guess uh, reading with the up air is good. But you got to mix it up. Michael's not going to have predictable jump patterns. He's super uh, good he, at adapting to that. He knows all you want to do is up air. You got to mix it up. Yeah. Um, uh, you can You got to be super smart with when you're choosing up Don't use Nana's double jump. I wonder if we'll see a Falco switch. This is not looking great. FD though, you can't, you can't quite land on the top platform and stuff. Yeah. So maybe he wants to, you know, try to, especially because he's Icy's. Like, yeah, try to do that. Like, land on the top platform and just like catch him with a grab or something, so he can. I mean, obviously, he wants a grab. But sure. I don't know. Michael makes this really hard. I don't know, but the pawn is so risky. Eh, maybe not in this matchup. That's a like, dead lady. Might be a dead man, too. Yep. Quinn not really trying. Maybe he knew he was dead. Maybe he just, like, you know, knew he was dead. No, he wasn't going to make that yeah. comeback. Yeah, he wasn't going to make the comeback yet. Well, it didn't take eight minutes. No. Um, so I think Quinn probably trying to be more proactive when Michael's camping, but I'm not sure if that's the best idea because... You, you don't want to get too... You aggressive. really got to pick your spots because Michael's not going to make it easy. Immediately pounding in. I, okay. I guess you... I mean, he probably could get shield grab at, on the F that also. I mean, uh, it depends on the spacing. Yeah. All right, and he finds Wave dash jab one. grab. So FD pretty standard, especially I, the way Michael's playing, jumping around. He's gonna still jump around, but when he lands, he has to land on the main platform, as in the stage. Jump so, up, jump bump, but get down. Yeah. Oh my god, that, <laughs> that almost didn't kill. 
Yeah. If you I'd waste an opportunity to kill Michael, I'm gonna... Yeah, that would be... Uh, another pound. I'd be mad for him. Ooh, another jab grab on this day. Okay, that, but those pounds don't... I don't think they can get shield grab. He's got a little m, &M he's trying to hide behind. Okay, so now this is a completely different dynamic from last game because now Quinn has the lead, so he's not doing fishing for these kind of reckless up airs. He knows right. that Michael has to eventually be proactive, but Michael being proactive is still patient and proactive. So you can see he's sort of waiting for picking his spots well. But Quinn not giving him much. Riveting stuff. It is in a way, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. It's interesting. I find this matchup fun. Funny. <laughs> or like these specific with these two players. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Michael's doing a pretty good job getting in. I mean, the thing is when Michael has to get in, he has two people that he can hit, right? Or right. And either one. Either one, it's like a win, right? The yeah. wobble. Quinn not trying to save Nana, probably smart. Quinn not doing much, just standing there, but he's just waiting him out. It's so, it's so funny how different he's playing when he has a lead. Um, but yeah. So we gotta grab that low percent and he's sweet. Yeah, because of the history, I Ooh, agree he... with it. But okay, if they didn't a... have the match history, I think he would you know, maybe try and test Yeah, Michael's that's why I feel like this more. is interesting, right? Because they've already played each other and they know like Michael's willing to time out, they know Michael's willing to camp. Yeah. Um, so knowing these things, like Quinn has to have completely adapt his strategy for Michael. Wow, I can leave your edge. You know, yep. he's playing, if he's playing another puff, I guarantee he'd play way different. Even if it was like quote unquote good puff, like Pentaboo or something. Sure, sure. Yeah, the history definitely. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta. Difference. I didn't roll once in that situation against Michael. I was really proud of myself. We played friendlies, and he rested me there. <laughs> but that's a roll he always looks that far. Yep. Okay, so now they're even pretty much. So now, looks like neither of them want to go in. Michael, was, everything he does that's good, I, I just don't know about those pounds. It's like he's yeah, doing he's a really patient game, and then he just recklessly goes into the pound. And it's uh, not even that high reward, at least he's not making it that high reward. Right. If he does it that height, though, he won't get shield yeah, grabs. Yeah, he can't get shield grabs, so it's definitely better. And, I mean, like, he didn't do it much against me, so, you know, because, like, I could have smash out of shield or something. Sure. So I'm sure he's, you know, thought about it more. But I remember the first time I played him, like, I don't know, like 100 years ago or something. <laughs> it was when he was, a, you know, it was when... He was in amateur bracket and like, yeah. Before he had up and come. Yeah, yeah. Before he was sponsored by up and comers, but um, <laughs> he would just like back air, back air in place, and then just pound in. And it, it was got pretty predictable. So. Yeah, the first time I played him was a similar story. I think I think that's kind of still feels like it's his instinct. So he's just got to make sure he kind of misses that. But he's not getting punished for it yet. Yeah, so. he hasn't gotten punished, in, but he hasn't gotten much of a reward either. That's true. Um. Oh, I could think have, he can up air. Yeah, could have up air out of shield. No, no wobble, though. Could have done some stuff. You can get percent. Good, good job by Quinn. Um, the frame trap. What, is that a, what was a frame trap? No, it's just the icy side B. Like, if you uh, hit it, don't. It's it's so hard. It's, a, it's, it's weird. It's not a real frame trap. Yeah, I actually don't really know, like, what constitutes a frame trap. They have, uh, they have no landing lag on it, so it's like... You always think you can do something if you're gonna yeah, get by people, it. Yeah, people like try to crouch cancel. They take like 20%, and then they like miss the punish, and then they get punished after. Yeah, it's kind of a slippery slope. So we're back to the dynamic of Quinn having the lead. Um, well, it looks like he's trying to be more proactive, calling out Michael's like back airs. I kind of like that. Um, try to extend the lead if you can. Last time you got nothing out of it. That's kind of huge for sign. 52. Uh, what do you think? Do you think we'll see a timeout this game? It's on pace. Yeah, it's pretty close. I wouldn't be surprised either way. I'm going to go ahead and not pick a side. I want to see timeouts. <laughs> timeouts are always tight. Timeouts are great because they make like eight minute matches, which are, you know, quote unquote boring. They make the last like minute so hype. So. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, I'd much rather see a timeout than like a seven and a half minute match. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you there. Like, yeah, me versus Michael is like 620. It's like probably like, the worst time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think you've read that well. So I guess that's a uh, Yeah, I guess that's true. Second time he's done it. Is he dead? Oh, okay. Wow. Michael now really has to be pro. Time to set up a tent. Yeah, he likes to tomahawk a lot, uh, Michael. I guess a lot of puffs do. Yeah, it's a it's a it's pretty, pretty good. poor mix-up. Yeah, especially because like, you're so bad on the ground normally, so it's one of the easiest ways to get a grab. Quinn's um, thinking about the timeout for sure. Yeah, Michael... Taking as, as all the time he can on the angel platform. 
Yeah, I don't know why Michael Michael going to ledge. I guess just for weight out invincibility. But I don't think Quinn's gonna really try to hit Michael. He's gonna mostly try to avoid Michael. Is what yeah. I guess. Yeah. I'm um, thinking the same see, thing. See, that's a that's a really good backer because Michael is probably thinking that too. But he just like does one off them by going in. Oh my God, Michael's scared. <laughs> That was a lot of rolls. A trillion rolls. I feel you like a lot of You set up a pizza place with all those rolls. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people play that way against Misses, you know, once they, once they feel like they might get wobbled. Finally punished it's pound. punished for the, uh, the pound, yeah. Really? really? Wow, good. Huge uh, contrast to last game. So yep. far. He gets a lot off of this pound. Definitely not over. Nope. Uh, the grab will do it. Ooh, Nana saving. The two scoops. Hitting yeah. with the Raisin Brand. Okay, going for Nana, I just think that's smart, even though you're down. Um, Quinn's gonna try to camp edge. Looks like a little bit. I really know. I haven't really seen many other characters camp edge like Hbox did. Alright, Quinn, I think he didn't think he was gonna grab edge, so he side beat. I don't know. Uh, he didn't mash enough, though. If he if he was going to side B, you got to commit to it. Yeah, maybe. He could have lived for that. Yeah, he definitely could have. So maybe it was an accidental input, and then he like reacted too late to mash. Yeah. Not sure. Um, back air might kill with this percent. But that's the yeah, eye. It, it will does. Kill, but there you go. Yeah, he probably could have survived. Probably could have survived at least one. Good good adaptation by Kundalini. He spared us the timeout. Yeah. Barely. Well, it, I mean, it's like the seven minute match. It yeah, it's a. Would have been more hype if it was a minute longer. <laughs> For um, the timeout. Very, All right. Very unsurprising pick by Michael. It's a dream land. Um, so Quinn did win, but it was the no platform stage. We'll see if he can do anything, um, adjust to sort of the first game strategy that Michael had. I guess a big thing we saw in the difference between the games was who got the first lead, right? So. Yeah, lead seems pretty huge in this. Yeah. At least in the player matchup. Yeah, yeah. Again, that's another other player matchup thing. So if Quinn can get a grab early like he did last game. And then play patient like he did, he might have a chance, even on this stage. Michael, probably not gonna want that to happen. Yeah. Uh, does Michael ever just like rest Nana? I feel like that's yeah, for that's, sure. that's like a icy or puff versus icy strategy. For sure. Oh wow, that was the fastest meter cancel. <laughs> Is that fairly low percent? So. Yeah. He's also puffed, so you have like a million jumps. Oh, he's dead. He's yeah, dead. Sopo is the only character in the game that can neither turn around nor reverse grab his up B. Reverse grab what? Oh. So like out of up B, he cannot grab the edge if he's facing the wrong way. Huh. He cannot turn himself around. Yeah, yeah. And he cannot grab backwards. Like, he's the only character? Only character that can do, wow. can't do either. That sucks. Like Yoshi can't turn around. Can, um. But he can throw, like he can grab from behind Yeah, him, yeah. You know? Can ICs, even with both ICs, they can't do that? With If you sync, you can. It's okay. just Sopo. Okay, just Sopo, you can. Yeah. So Sopo is the other character. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we did see Michael get the first stock. So probably more like game one than game two, especially stage-wise. It's a much more similar stage. Yep, I think we're going to see a lot of float. Let's see if Quinn tries something different. Fewer up airs. Looks like he's trying to pick his spots better. Kind of opting for more back airs now. Um... But not much of what he's doing seems like a bait. Yeah, maybe like empty hops or something like full hop nothing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. As it if seems on so hard. Yeah, I don't know what to tell him. Uh, I, I think he's got to go for like really high risk, high reward, like grab guesses. Try to look at where Michael's landing when he runs out of jumps. Yeah. And also count his jumps maybe. So it doesn't look like he's using all of his jumps, which is smart, you know. Right. And he's landing at different times. And he's doing a lot of edge canceling to land. Yeah, he is doing edge canceling. That seems so hard to deal with. Yeah, that's a, I, like I said, I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm just charging in guns blazing and losing at this point. Yeah. That's. And he's got three platforms, four, I guess, if you include the main stage, four places he can land. He doesn't choose the main one, though. Yeah. Ooh, Plus the edge, if you were to go to there. Yeah, too, you know? buff's not bad on the edge. <laughs> Definitely not. So, I don't know, it's... I feel like Quinn hasn't hit him like once in this situation, really. It's been all just missed back airs and then like one hit back air. 
need to save Nana, but okay. Did some right. damage. He got some damage. He wins that trade, I think. He he does. You think he got more damage? Yeah, I think I think he did. Well, he got more damage, but I don't know about how much Nana took. Yeah, that's true. Also, and also, oh, he gets a grab. Wow, he's got to know that that's gonna kill. Cause yeah, I would have wobbled. <laughs> yeah, I would have done a little bit more. Um, okay, so they're even stocks, and he's got both climbers. Wow, Nana avoids it. He was uh, going for the, uh, you know, grabbing the, up, the edge out of the up e. Yeah, so but he does it. Hmm. I wonder. Do you think he's just? Do you think he just killed himself so he can get so Nana back and try to wobble so he wouldn't like get timed out? I think yeah, he's trying to avoid the timeout. I think. No, I, he I, definitely could have made it back. I feel like he could have also, but I feel like it's too early to be playing with a timeout. Like try to get a few hits in at Sopo, and then if you don't, maybe kill yourself. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, finally tough. gets a shark with the up air. <laughs> his first one in both games one and three. Oh, is he dead? No, Frame trap. <laughs> you had to land next to him. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Okay. I guess you you can go really high when they're sank with side B. So. Yeah, it goes a lot higher than up B. Yeah. Um, and they both go. Yeah, so. that's your, you stay sank. <laughs> so it's definitely the better option when you guys are both. Uh, right. And Popo can grab out of like the top of it. Oh, really? Which he can't do by himself. Yeah, I knew he can't do um, by himself. Although Nana does fall in special fall, you can get her out of special fall with an up B. You can't get her out of you tumble. You can't get her out of tumble, but you can, but okay. you can get her out of special fall. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Lots of semi-crucial damage by Michael on both Nana and Popo. Yeah, it's, uh... So, I know, the other thing, when I was playing Michael and the games were lasting a long time, like, my hands were getting super sweaty and stuff, and it's, like, hard to keep up that. I don't know, I mean, spaces might be different from Huff and Icy's, but that's also a concern for... I don't know how Michael does it. He can just, like, stay this patient and play this well the whole time. Kinda yeah, crazy. really. <laughs> and he's, like, adapting, but, like, he's... I don't know, the way he times his back and jumps, I feel like he's sort of recognizing what Quinn's doing and not just throwing them out mindlessly. Yeah, definitely, like, scooping under him there with that up air. That's something I haven't seen him do yet. But... Quinn gets rid of the bear. But yeah, a lot of puffs will just, like, oh, H-Box bears, and they just, like, bear mindlessly. But sure. you got to really think about each each bear. And I think Michael's a good example of something that does that. That was smart. Um, I thought at first Nana wasn't going to move into it. I guess he knew. So, okay, I was about to say, he let himself die at a much lower percent than this. I was, yeah, I was so expecting him to SD. Yeah, I guess that kind of confirms the first one was on purpose. Yeah, definitely. So do you think, so, probably, I don't know, if this was played, like, out, I think we might see a timeout, but I would expect Quinn to kind of just, like, kill himself. If he loses Nana. Maybe if he loses Nana, out. it's, yeah. Maybe he'll play it out, but... Okay, let's see. He separated them with that pound. Oh, there you go, Nana. Wow. That was amazing DI, but he's dead at 100. God, Puff is light. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't do up smash. Yeah. So uh, you turn around to do up smash because it, it doesn't hit her if she's in front of you, but it will hit her if she's behind you. So does it have more knockback, you think, than down smash? He might have uh, just known it would kill. It yeah. Would, you got to know your percents for wobbling. So for sure. For I think up smash kills earlier than down smash. Yeah. I would guess, but it is. Um, so yeah, Michael waited on the angel platform the whole time, playing for the timeout. Um, yeah, he doesn't really have to hit Popo. Nope. So. so. Oh, yep, Popo can't turn around. You have to air dodge your side B there. <laughs> that sucks. The only way he can turn around is with a side B or an ice block. Ice block, yeah, so he's got to be the B reverse pretty much. Yeah. yeah. We could see Falco. But it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think, okay, he goes, it makes sense. Um, low top platform, easier to shark and not put yourself in too much danger. And, you know, even though games one and three look kind of hopeless, if he can get just like a wobble immediately or early. Yeah, if he can take the lead, um, game two look pretty good. Yeah, game two <laughs> look pretty good, so we'll see. Uh, Michael on the ground for a little bit too long there. Yeah, I think this is all about the first stock. Yeah, that's what it seemed like, it's so interesting. This first stock isn't looking great for Quinn. No, but I mean, he just has to. He can have the whole first stock where he can get hit a bunch, but he just needs one ground, right? That's true. Uh, Michael needs like 12 backers, and, and Quinn needs one grab. Oh, this all smash. Okay, so. Hmm. That's Looks like that quote unquote help. true combo that we saw game two didn't quite work there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it was user error or yeah. if it's not actually true. Or Michael died right, or yeah, or if it's just not true. Yeah. Um, but, so we do see Michael get the early lead. So this is the first, so we see a, there's a lower top platform on this stage, so. 
Wow, is he dead? Oh my god, that would've been amazing. I don't know about fair. Right. Maybe fair to like Meteor and then immediately grab what he's going for. So yeah, Michael. Doing the Michael. <laughs> Quinn, um, I don't know it's why. He just strategy. separated his ICs. Eh? He's trying everything now. Maybe he's baiting him into hitting mana. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that would be a great bait. Yeah. Oh, is that going to do it? Not quite. This is, uh, yeah, um, found with the second lowest sides, or second closest sides. So those rogue backers will behind kill. Yoshis. Yeah, behind Yoshi's. So those rogue backers will kill much earlier than even FD, so. Yeah. I wonder if he considered Yoshi's or if he tried Yoshi's in this match. Um, I don't know. I know the one game that I see, had seen it, that he had won was on Fountain, so it makes sense for him to try it. Okay. Not killing himself now. Um, we're not really on pace for a timeout. Could happen, though. Definitely could happen. I don't think we'll see a timeout. Depends how Michael... Yeah, what he's, what he's going for, really. God, this looks so frustrating to play. <laughs> I I don't know. I, I kind of had some confidence in Quinn. He wasn't like, I hate playing Michael. He was like, I've thought about it. I've theorycrafted it. And I talked with him. But, yeah. It uh, does not look fun. Not at all. But it looks like, seemed like at least before he had a pretty good mentality about it. Which yeah, is good. Yeah, that's good. You need to have that. Yeah. You're, not, you're just not going to last yeah. long without it. All right, so now he's like, yeah. Uh, takes a deep breath. Leans back. Okay, so trying to not throw out aerial strategy. <laughs> Hoping that Michael just lands next to him on the ground. Oh, I think he's just like, oh, amazing. Let's go. There's one. How did he get that? Uh, Michael did choose to land on the ground. I uh, think he pressed maybe... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I guess it might have been because there's no side platform to land on, so Michael had to land on the ground, and Quinn just immediately ran in there and dashed. Ooh, I'm surprised Nana didn't get caught up in that side. Ooh. I'm surprised that wasn't the same. Uh, yeah, you're right. That might be a big part of why you picked this stage. Yeah, uh, so you can platforms. get some FD at some point. So yeah. For that reason, I would say probably better than Yoshi's. Doing the kill self strategy? Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. He's just got to try things, so... Sure. Gets data for the next set if this doesn't work out. Yeah, especially because Michael has graduated, so they're both in the Chicagoland area for the foreseeable future. Well, I guess until Quinn goes to college. So yeah. at least next semester. Um, uh, it's gonna be all okay. shoot. Yes, the punish. I don't think. I think the most damage is. I'm not sure what the most damage. Is.